Okay, so the last video, we're going to quickly see if we can't do this on a FPGA. We're going to do it on a Myrio. So how would you do it on a Myrio? You will start a project now, create project. We're going to start with a blank project. Don't add this one, I'm not, I'm going to start with a, my own project. So normally, you'll have something like this, your project window. If you click on your project, you can say new targets and devices. If you set up your MyRio correctly, it should be under MyRio. Okay. Then on the FPGA, we're going to write a program on the FPGA. We say new PI. And now in this one, we have to duplicate. Oh, uh, for your, we have to duplicate these IR with these values. So I've done it before. We just do it. Uh, let's see where is my. So on this FPGA, you'll find your FPGA program, and then you'll have to do this. I'll just delete this one for now. So exactly the same project you did here. The same structure you did here. You're going to redo here. And then if you only want to add your value, your analog input, you'll say maybe analog input A, place it there, wire it in, and you can run it, and it will save it and compile it, and your output will be demonstrated here. Look at my 5 millisecond uh, sample rate. So this is then a pure linear time invariant low pass filter. So what we've done, we've got a noisy signal. Oh, the first step normally would be to analyze your signal. So you would write software, for instance, like this, that just go, just read your analog value and do a Fourier transform on it. The moment you did the Fourier transform, you can see what frequencies there are. Um, if you get a noisy signal like this, you'll do a Fourier transform on it, and you'll see you would know what frequency your machine is giving, so the other ones would be noise. After you know which ones are noise, you would put zeros on the noisy ones poles on the right ones. You do that old pole zero diagram plot. Once you've done that, you get the boat plot. If you're happy with the boat plot, you use this formula to get it into that form so you know which is B0, B1, B2. You draw this, if you make this structure, this is now in lab, it looks like this. There is also blocks where you can just add in your coefficients as a text file. If you're going to write in assembler on a pick, then this structure that won't look like this, you'll have to program it as a assembler structure. If you use Java, you should use the equivalent typed code for, for this structure, but the coefficients will stay the same. After that, this one will be time invariant, meaning every time you get a point in, you get an answer out, so there's really no delay in this type of processing.